August 2nd, 1939, Einstein penned a letter to Roosevelt commenting on the destructive power of a new type of bomb. The urgency for America to beat the Nazis in the race for the atomic bomb had formally begun, and Einstein would be hailed as the father of a new era of atomic warfare. The horrific and sudden loss of life in Japan would haunt Einstein for the remainder of his years. Not more than a year earlier, physicist Majorana gave his life to protect the secrets of the atom. There are several categories of scientists in the world. Those who find second or third rank do their best but never get very far. There is first rank, those who make important discoveries, fundamental to scientific progress. But there are geniuses like Galileo and Newton. Majorana was one of these. These are the words of Enrico Fermi in 1939, a super famous Italian physicist who would later become a major player in the Manhattan Project, alongside with Einstein and Oppenheimer. On the German side of the race for the atomic bomb, Heisenberg was depicted as a saboteur in the heavy water war, boasting his understanding of how to produce an atomic bomb to the Germans, but hiding and destroying enough evidence to prevent his power from landing in Hitler's hands. Rather than steamrolling ahead with research as they did in the States, or slow drip feeding the empire like Heisenberg, the Italian savant Majorana resolved to use a more dramatic path. Born in 1906, Ettore Mariana had a gift for mathematics which his parents would parade around as the likes of Mozart and Beethoven, except for long division instead of scales. With guidance by Enrico Fermi in Rome, Mariana was suspected of having unlocked the secrets of the atom, which caused him a great deal of paranoia until March 25th of 1938, when he sent a cryptic telegram to Fermi announcing his suicide at 11pm. Sure enough, he was traveling from Palermo to Naples by sea that night, and showed up missing when the ship arrived at port and he was never seen again. However, a decade later, after the war had concluded, a special Italian police branch claimed to have found Majorana bumming around Venezuela, but quickly lost him, or at least his look-alike. But just imagine having to avoid the moral pain with being credited as the father of atomic warfare. Mariana committed, or at least framed, his own suicide. Now I need to firmly establish this, that fetishization of suicide is a bad idea, but for some reason I find myself obsessed with characters like Majorana, Van Gogh, and Boltzmann. Today I found out that the last song I have to write can be as long as 7 minutes, and I have a lot of ideas floating around in my head. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs>